what's up y'all it's jess welcome back to the channel today we are going to be doing the soulmate game listen a lot of y'all not a lot maybe like two people three people <laughs> y'all recommended this to me listen i'm here for y'all i've been told y'all i'm here for y'all y'all want me to play this let's go ahead let's do it it's 15 episodes what's it about experts have found your perfect match find him in your home with one million dollars and a husband the trick you won't get to know whether he's the one until you're both at the altar okay listen y'all let's go ahead and get into it okay y'all look your heart pounds in anticipation. Listen, that ain't me because that lady too light to be me. Listen, <laughs> everything has led up to this moment. There's only one question left. The host says, does this person you've fallen in love with hold the key to your heart? Or have you played the soulmate game by your own rules? Okay, time to find out, period. Listen, okay, my name is Jess. What's my first name? Jess. What's my last name? Suggestions. Just suggestions at your service. Okay, would you like to customize the characters? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Okay. Y'all, this is my sis. This is my sis. I gave her locks. I gave her locks. <laughs> Who would you like to date? I want to date guys. I should have switched it up and said girls, y'all. It's fine. Okay. Who's this? Hello? I always wanted to find true love, but luck was never on my side. Is this my boyfriend? Until the day I decided to apply for the world's hottest new reality TV show, The Soulmate Game. I am ready to find love, okay? I'm so optimistic. <laughs> Period. Okay, what's this? Congratulations. You have been chosen to participate in a one-of-a-kind experiment. Will you be the first to find love in our soulmate game? I mean, I'm going to try. I got in. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Okay, y'all, look. This is my competition or nah? How should I introduce myself to the girls? Y'all, we gonna be savage. Like a bucket of extra spicy wings, period. From Wingstop. You know what I'm saying? Make room for Queen Jess, y'all. May the best woman win. Am I right? <laughs> look at me laughing. Eureka said, ha ha, I love your vibe, girl. Layla said, yarn, when will the real competition arrive? Oh, girl, you on my hit list already. I don't like your attitude. Gracia said, looks like she doesn't want to make friends. Eureka said, don't worry. The rest of us are nice. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, here go the whole scene. Got no name, y'all. Welcome to the Soulmate Game, the only reality dating show that uses science to help you find your soulmate. Okay. Not science. <laughs> Look at them, y'all. Look at that girl taking a selfie. All of you are about to begin a one-of-a-kind experiment. An experiment that can change your life forever. Our team of love experts has joined forces to help humanity answer the question everyone has asked since the dawn of time. Do soulmates exist? And can you find yours? Okay, Dr. Devi said, why do we want to help humanity find love? Because love is the most wonderful feeling and everyone has the right to experience it. Dr. Wang said, we've been studying love for years, working out a formula, and we're finally ready to test it. If it works, we'll save so many people from the pain of heartbreak, including me. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Wang, who hurt you? Dr. Gonzalez said, to find your ideal soulmate, we'll first need to find out who each of you are. After that, our soulmate formula will take care of the rest. Okay, it's time to take your personality quizzes. Your journey to find true love starts now. Okay. Look, y'all, look at me being cute. For this quiz, different answers will unlock a different soulmate with a unique personality. Your choices matter. Okay, y'all, do we want to date somebody loyal, smart, creative, or adventurous? Uh, Loyal, because I don't want him kissing up on some other woman in my apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like that last man, I think that was my boyfriend, maybe, that we got that little snippet of. <laughs> <laughs> next question what would you do with one million dollars okay would we go to vegas and bet half of it would we invest it and make tons more money would we treat my family and give some to charity or would we take a private jet to exotic locations i ain't even gonna hold you y'all i kind of want the pj take it to an exotic location you know what i'm saying i hear aruba is nice this time of year 
what's your biggest flaw i'm easily bored i can forget to take others feelings into account i don't plan ahead or i'm sensitive to criticism so personally suggestions is sensitive to criticism so i'm gonna say that (laughs) which of the following would be your ideal first date a karaoke bar dinner and a movie something spontaneous or a museum i don't know i'm kind of boring y'all i say dinner and a movie okay during a party you are getting ready to win beer pong you're reading a book not reading a book (laughs) singing and dancing to your favorite songs or catching up on all the hottest gossip oh we catching up on the gossip because i gotta get the tea around here you know what i'm saying what's your favorite type of movie anything lighthearted? films that get me thinking action flicks or musicals i mean it depends on the day but i'm gonna say lighthearted. I'm saying say anything lighthearted. Which animal are you most like? The great horned owl, observant and wise. The fox, clever and powerful. The rabbit, fun and loving. Or the dog, loyal and supportive. I'm personally very observant and wise. So we're going to put that. All right, choose something to drink. Homemade lemonade to share. 15-year-old malt whiskey. Strawberry milkshake or an energy drink. So the answer would be whiskey if Beyonce would ever send my Sir Davis order to my house. She will not ship it. I don't know what's going on with her. But I think I'm going to say homemade lemonade. I really don't want to share it, but I'm going to say homemade lemonade. (laughs) Which statement describes you to a T? I figure things out as they happen. I'm helpful to people around me. I'm a schedule kind of girl. Or I love being the center of attention. Figure things out as they happen. Okay. In romance novels, you're most drawn to the witty player, the caring boyfriend, the mysterious bad boy, or the cold-hearted hottie. Uh, The caring boyfriend. Let's say that. Okay, bonus question. Okay. Our love experts have found that partners with the same core value have happier, healthier relationships. Our bonus question will let you choose your core value so our love experts can make sure your soulmate is a perfect match. Would you like the bonus question to count towards your match? I mean, okay, you're about to see the first premium. Cho- oh, okay, this is <laughs> this is a diamond. This is a diamond game. Okay, premium choices will give you exclusive experience. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> the first one is free. Not, a, I'm okay gambling on my future. Yeah, we looking for love. We looking for love. What's my core value? Intuition, fun, vulnerability, family, growth, freedom. What's the next one? Connection or wisdom? Yeah, I think I'm gonna say freedom. I think I'm going to say freedom. Your soulmate will share freedom as their core value. Okay. The results are in. Here's your unique card with your personality type. Okay. I'm organized, sociable, and warm. The role model. Okay. Now it's time to find your soulmate. Okay. Calculate it. Calculate it. Let's go. This is it. Who knew science is what I need to find love? We can't wait for you to meet your soulmates. I can't wait either. But first, here's your personal heart. What? <laughs> okay, look at everybody holding their hearts, y'all. Why I'm looking so sad? Girl, put a smile on your face. <laughs> Ladies, you've all been matched with a man and received a locked heart. Only your soulmate has the key to open your heart. I know you're excited to meet them, but there's just one catch. You won't discover who your soulmate is until the very last step of the journey at the wedding altar. Only then will you find out if your soulmate's key opens your heart. If his key is the right one, you're going home with $1 million and a husband, period. I don't care about money. I want to find love. Oh, no. We're going to win this. I do care about the money. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I'm I'm here to find love and win. You know what I'm saying? Are you ready to meet the man? Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I can't wait, y'all. I also hope they hot. (laughs) I hope they hot. Take a look around, ladies. Each of you has a perfect match here. Now, the million-dollar question, will you find them, or will your heart lead you to someone else? Okay, look at the men, (laughs) y'all. Okay, not faint. I think I already got my eye on somebody, maybe. Eureka said, I can't choose. They're all so handsome. I think I spotted my favorite two, my two favorite guys. You'll have 30 minutes to date as many of the boys as you can. 30 minutes? Do you know you have 30 minutes? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, yes. After the speed dating, you'll choose the first guy you want to couple up with. So I hope none of you want the same guy. 
Okay. Okay, y'all. We need to find the one we got great chemistry with. Got to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Lock in. Eureka said, this is wild. Our job is to impress the super hot guys. Consider me hired full time. Layla said, you don't stand a chance against a former Miss America. Oh, can you more get out of here, girl? <laughs> Miss America. I knew I seen her somewhere before. The host said, one more thing, ladies. The audience will be voting for their favorite girl during the speed dating sequence. The girl with the most votes wins a personal stylist. Okay. Ask genuine questions and be authentic in your responses. Now go. All these hotties are waiting to meet you. Okay. 30 minutes, y'all. On the clock. Who the first guy I should talk to? Okay. Gabriel believes in organized mess. I don't believe in that. Adam is 26. He's from Rome. He's a producer and collects animal paintings. Nah. River is 23. He's from Miami. He's a model and has traveled the world. I don't know about you, River. <laughs> let's go. Let's say no. What if I say no to all these people? From Mexico City, he's a teacher and can't handle scary movies. Oh, no, Leo, you ain't for me. Malik is 22, is from London, a professional boxer, and has more than 20 tattoos. Okay, I don't know why that's your interesting fact, Malik, but okay. Y'all, should we go with Malik? Nah. Okay, here go Harry from Delhi. He's a real estate broker, has a bestseller, and has written a bestseller thriller novel. Y'all, let's go with Harry. Let's see. He said, I was hoping a cute girl like you would pick me. I'm excited to get to know you, Harry. He said, how you feeling? Um, I'm excited, but still a little nervous. Why my audience meter ain't going up? Y'all don't love me yet or not? <laughs> I'm I'm super excited and nervous, um, Harry. He said, I get what you mean. I feel the same. Okay, we got a little left before time runs out. Tell me, um, I don't know. What's the worst pickup line you've ever used? He said, I'm usually too reserved for pickup lines, but I once tried. Can you take your clothes off so I can see where you hide your angel wings? <laughs> oh, sir, that's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, Jess needs to dig deeper if she wants to fill up the audience meter. Well, y'all help me dig deeper. It's time to switch. He said, our speed date went by too fast. I would hate to say goodbye so soon. Okay, the tutorial says this is your story and you have complete control of it. You can choose to stay with Harry for your second speed date and get to know him better or say goodbye and move on to the next guy. Choose carefully because he won't come back around. Y'all, do we... Do we spend more time with Harry? I kind of do want to spend more time with Harry. I kind of do want to spend more time. Let's let's spend more time with him. He said, I'm really happy you chose me again, so let's make the most of our time together. How about telling me something personal? What's something you love about yourself? I don't know. My determination. I always get what I want, period. What about you? He said, I'm really independent. I like that I can take care of myself. Okay. Okay, I feel closer to you already. Um, Harry, can you take care of me? He said, it's like we've known each other forever. Is it? Because <laughs> I don't feel nothing. The host said, good job, Jess. Now you're really opening up. Okay. He said, I'm not surprised the audience loves you. It'd be impossible not to. Y'all, did that thing say four minutes? <laughs> Time is running out. Do you have one last question for me? Um, I'm going to say, what catches your eye when you look at a woman? He said, her eyes and the smile. Okay, do you like mine? He said, let's just say that both caught my eye when I first saw you. Okay, it's crazy to think you could be my soulmate. We might end up getting married at the end of this adventure. He said, what are you feeling right now? Do you think the love experts could have chosen me as your soulmate? You might be. You might be, um, Harry. He said, I feel the same way. Okay, time to switch. He said, man, I really don't want to leave. Okay, no, Harry. I got to go talk to somebody else, I think. <laughs> okay. Y'all don't like none of these people. Gabriel's 23, organized mess. Adam is 26, collects animal paintings. River's 23. Nah. Leo. 
y'all let's talk to malik because he the only black man and i'm the only black woman so i feel like <laughs> the game might be the game might be trying to set me up with him hold on let's look at what's his name i forgot his name already malik <laughs> He said, I was hoping we had a chance to talk. I know, Malik, because we're the only two black people here. I'm curious to know something. Um, what's one thing on your bucket list? He said, join the Mile High Club. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't think that this man my soulmate, but okay. The host said, way to go, Jess. The audience loves your questions and answers. Okay, thank you, audience. Malik said, if we became a couple, I need to know everything about you, the good and the bad. So tell me, what's something unusual about you? Y'all, I actually am left-handed in real life. Like, Jessica, <laughs> the person reading this, I actually am left-handed. I would say I'm left-handed. But about 10% of the world is left-handed, and I'm one of them, period. He said, I knew you were special. Okay, you know the drill, switch. He said, darn. Y'all, we're going to go with somebody else. Because that little Mile High Club answer that Malik gave me, I ain't really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't really like it. So we're gonna go with somebody else. Hold on. Uh Gabriel believes in organized mess. Adam collects animal paintings. Rivers traveled the world. He a model. Leo 24. Is that it? Oh, y'all, it's more people. Jimin. G Min is a lawyer and knows how to play 10 instruments. Okay. Arthur is a volunteer firefighter and a vet i think i want to go with the one that the scary movie man yeah him leo let's let's talk to leo y'all hello he said i gotta admit i was a little on the tent side but i got a little help from a bottle of champagne okay uh chamomile tea is how i relax <laughs> Leo said, can we get Jess a cup of chamomile tea, please? Why is he on the intercom? Why is there an intercom on this show? <laughs> What's going on here? And how did I get it so quickly? Okay, thank you. He said, speaking of relaxing, what do you like to do on the weekends to unwind? To unwind, I would go for a walk in nature. He said, I'd love to go on a nature walk with you. Okay, guess what? Time to switch. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I really don't want to talk to nobody else. <laughs> I do want to talk to the model for the plot. Let's talk. Let's go to the next person. That man from Miami. I know he ain't the one for me. This one. <laughs> but I want to talk to him anyway for the plot. Here's River, y'all. River said, I finally get to meet you, Jess. I said, I wonder what this day would have been like if you were taking me out on a real date. He said, what's your idea of a good date? I want to be prepared. Um... Not anything expensive. <laughs> a good time equals a good date, River. He said, oh, I can give you a good time. Okay, oh, you? Y'all look at the meter. Good job, Jess. Look at the meter. The audience loves me. Sorry for the interruption, but it's time to switch. He said, I'm starting to hate her voice. <laughs> this is your last speed date. Good luck. Okay. Y'all, do we have more time with River? Or do we nah let's meet somebody else let's try to meet somebody else um gabriel i don't think gabriel for me y'all adam g man arthur i think um let's talk let's talk to this man here because he could lay animal paints i want to know what that's about <laughs> adam said hi nice to meet you the more time passes the more i realize that these speed dates aren't long enough he said, I think the love experts didn't give us much time to push to ask deep questions. Okay, that makes sense. How do your friends describe you in a word? He said, they describe me as creative. What about you? Okay. They would describe me as kind. He said, I can see why they describe you as kind. How? <laughs> How you know, uh, River, or whatever your name is. You don't even know me. Ho said, time's up, lovebirds. He said, what a bummer. I really enjoy spending time with you. Okay. Um, I did not feel no spark. It was fun. I like getting to know you. He said, me too. Yeah, I think I like that first man. I forgot his name, but he a writer. 
I think he my soulmate, whatever his name is. What's his face? The host said, congrats, ladies. You made it through the speed days. It's time to announce the audience favorite. One lucky woman will win her own stylist for the season. Okay. My little bar was up there. You know what I'm saying? Layla said, we already know that I'll be the winner. Girl, shut up. The winner with more than 92% of the votes from the audience is, drum roll, just suggestions, period, period. Give me that stylist. Yeah. Look at Layla. Hating. I knew I was going to win. Listen, they got good taste. You know what I'm saying? Hair flip on them, just period. Give me my stylist. You can pick between. Oh, we picking a sister, y'all. Auntie Caddy. <laughs> Auntie Caddy. She always has a cat with her and swears she can actually talk to them. But beneath her hairbrained exterior, she's got the scoop on who's who, what's what, and how to stun the competition. With her, you'll dig your claws into this experiment like nobody's business. Okay, whatever. Next. Sister Snatched. This legendary fashion icon must have help from up above because she knows everything about everyone. She'd be an epic ally in winning the show. Okay, whatever. Gothic BFF. Don't be fooled by her scowl. She's got a mean sense of style and gives killer advice on besting your opponents. For red hot performance coaching, she can't be beaten. Oh, y'all, we going with the gothic. Listen, I like her hair, too. So we going with goth, gothic BFF. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why she ain't got no name name, but <laughs> okay. She said, welcome to the dark side. Now let's get to work. Soon, all contestants will have to choose the first guy they want to couple up with. Okay. Trust me when I say you want to look your very best in the next round. Okay, I'm excited to pick the perfect outfit. Okay, I want to look flawless period like beyonce she said i got you i curated a whole new wardrobe so you can nail this show layla said that's totally unfair we should all get a new wardrobe too the host said sorry ladies look at him flipping his hair sorry ladies the audience made their choice and voted for their favorite period our hands are tied i'm afraid public opinion will be critical in the coming weeks and i know the audience will appreciate it if you thank them for their gift Okay, you could go for a wardrobe that's elegant and chic. The matchmaker. Okay, them cute, y'all. A look that's edgy and unique. Till death do us part. I don't really like that. Or something cute and sweet. The true love's kiss. I don't really like that either. The matchmaker. We're doing the matchmaker. You sure you want this wardrobe? Yep. That's cute. Look at me, y'all. Look at me looking cute dress up for the first coupling okay y'all look i got diamonds i got diamonds to do listen look at me stepping period <laughs> it's time to choose who you want to couple up with first on your journey to find love this choice will be remembered okay which guy do i have the strongest connection with that writer no not him y'all what who was the writer <laughs> which one i don't remember now it was him, right? I think it was him. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was him. Are you sure he's your final choice? Yep. I liked Harry. Layla said, I've already chosen the guy I want to couple up with. Harry. Oh, girl. She said, why are you making that face? You didn't actually think you had a chance with him, did you? Gracia said, she's such a witch. Eureka said, I don't want to alarm you, but in case you're into Harry... While you were with your stylist, it got leaked that Harry is into you. And when Layla heard, she snuck off to make him believe that you don't like him and have your eyes on another guy because she wants Harry to herself. Gracia said, I saw the whole thing. It was gross. She's ready to do anything to get Harry to choose her. Y'all, the host said, you all must draw straws to determine the order you'll get to couple up with. You stand in a circle in front of the host before anyone else can go. Layla snatches the red straw. And you pull the uh, purple one. The red straw is the longest, so the first to choose is Layla. Jess is second with the purple straw. The third to choose is... Okay, what if Harry goes with Layla because she get to choose first? Y'all, what if Harry believes the terrible things she said about me? The host said, I know you're eager to choose your guy, but first, another twist. The guys will be able to turn you down if they hope to couple up with another woman who is still yet to choose. That's why each of you will now have the ability to go talk to the man you want to choose one more time. You have one last opportunity to make sure that the person is the one for you before the first coupling. 
okay, this is my chance to turn the tables, y'all. It's going to cost money. I know that. If Harry knows that I want to pick him, he'll turn Layla down so we can be together. Y'all knew it was going to cost diamonds. I knew it. I got y'all. We're going to talk to Harry. Listen. Layla go get her grubby mitts on Harry. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'm so glad you came to talk to me before the selection round, Jess. They told us the girls will have one more chance to talk to a guy of their choosing before the first coupler. I was really hoping you pick me. Okay, I had to see you, boo. Not gonna lie, this experiment is giving me the feels. It's like my emotions are magnified here. And he said, I know how you feel. Layla was just here, and I was so worried she'd be the only one to choose me when the only girl I've been able to think about is you. Period. Harry, you the one I think about too. I know everything's going super fast, but I want to couple up with you and see if we're each other's soulmate. I want to be sure that the feelings go both ways, though. Harry, I'm ready to go all in, but only if you want it to, boo. He said, you my first choice too, girl. I can't help it. It just feels right. Okay. Hearing that from you makes me really freaking happy, Harry. We're choosing each other tonight. He said, yep, can't wait. Okay. Curve, um, I was about to call that girl Ramona. That's from the other story. Curve Layla for the plot, Harry. The contestants have made their choices and the men have made theirs. After coupling up, you'll move on to the next phase of the experiment and fly to the Maldives. Oh, shoot. Where you'll live together on a tropical island. Okay. Listen. Let's go to the Maldives in my new outfits. Period. Layla, you won the first pick. Time to make your choice. Oh, girl, pick Harry so you can get turned down. Layla said, the guy I choose is Harry. Harry said, I'm sorry, Layla, but I can't choose you. Ooh, Carver. Carver, you know what I'm saying? I already decided who I want to choose. Period. Period. Look at her, y'all. Mad. Now go on back there. Oop. Since Harry didn't choose Layla, Layla will go to the back of the line now to choose again. Back of the line, Layla. But it's going to be slim pickings by the time she up again. Right. Period. <laughs> period. It's your turn, Jess. How do you feel? Okay. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy that Layla at the back of the line. You know what I'm saying? She said, I'm sure you'll blow your lucky man away with this fit, my dear. You know. I'm choosing Harry, period. Harry said, it'd be an honor to start this adventure with you, Jess. Okay, look at Layla. Cover your mouth for a fly get in it. We have our first couple in the soulmate game, and aren't they cute, period. Harry said, you look amazing, by the way. Well, thank you, boo. I feel like I hardly deserve to be with you. Okay, I can't believe you turned down Layla for the plot. That's crazy. <laughs> he said, well, haven't talked to you before the pick opened my eyes. I was only ready to accept her out of fear you wouldn't reciprocate my feelings. When I learned that you felt the same way about me, I didn't think twice about rejecting that girl. She's okay, but no one left their mark on me like you. Okay, look, y'all. Layla said, bleh. It's so obvious I'm Harry's soulmate. He said, don't worry about her. We in this together. Okay. Listen, y'all, that's my man, y'all. <laughs> Episode one, that's my man. I can't believe I'm really on my journey to find love. Could Harry be my soulmate? Time will tell. 